So judging from the rapports that you have made, you're down the fifth uh, drink. Yeah. So what's the verdict for now? What's the verdict for now? Uh, well, uh, after the four, after the third drink, I was uh, feeling surprisingly intoxicated, and then I decided that uh, now I need to slow down a little bit and uh, drink a glass of water. And now the fifth one was again booze, Kosken Korva, kind of classic Finnish booze. Yeah. And uh, mm, uh, judging from the point of consciousness and kind of emancipation, I, I now have the feeling that uh, the state of drunkenness has raised me in me the desire for life, which now translates into desire for more booze. I think there is no holding back anymore because I want to fill this gap inside me so you're with sad. alcohol. So. Well, I became sad when I was drinking this water because everybody left outside to watch the other performance and I was quite lonely here, you know, drinking water by the timer and there was some buzzing uh, uh, refrigerator there and, you know, this plastic carpet and yeah, I was feeling empty inside. I, I have to say that there's something wrong with this experiment that you're conducting. Something wrong? Yes, experiment. because it's not a social It's not social. Event. In, in the spirit that nobody else is getting drunk with you. I mean, that's part mm. of, that's half of the fun, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I think that next time you do it, you should do it in sync with someone else, <laughs> so you can compare notes more easily. Might be. The original idea, this uh, idea for this... Uh, came about in discussion with Mikko Kuorinki, who I have been doing some performances together. So, but now I uh, kind of decided to do this alone. And there has been a so, lots of social interaction with people, so it has been fine. It was just a moment, like when everybody left, that I felt alone and sad. Now I'm fine again. <laughs>